Um, I think it's offensive. I think it's inaccurate. There's so much misunderstanding about Cincinnati. People either dismiss us as uh, a city from the 70s or they don't think about us at all. I want to prove those people wrong. My name is Aftab Pureval and I'm the mayor of the city of Cincinnati. We saw incredible growth early on in our city's history because we were located right on the river. And the river was interstate commerce for our entire country. But Cincinnati has really changed. In the 70s, 80s, and 90s, we had a lot of people leaving for the suburbs and other parts of the country. Now, for the first time in a very long time, our population is actually growing. But we have infrastructure that is, in some instances, hundreds of years old. So many of our bridges are underfunded difficult to inspect or in disrepair. And as mayor, it weighs heavily on me knowing that we just don't have the resources or the technology to continue to maintain and build for the future. I'm Michael Segala. I started a PhD program in particle physics at Brown. And for the last 30 years or so, we've been hypothesizing that this particle existed in this world called the Higgs boson. We discovered the particle, and it ended up winning a Nobel Prize back in 2012. So my work is always about the proof. Cincinnati is a great example of an area that is prosperous in the city, but they have a lot of bridges that throughout the years have had a lot of disrepair. If I'm an inspector, and my job is to go out and inspect this bridge. It might be over water, the bridge might be 100 feet tall, all sorts of other obstacles. It's actually a really hard task to do. We help government leaders see the past, the present, and the future of some of their most pressing problems. So what we did is we went down to the bridges and we took our drones and we wanted to look for spalling or cracks in the concrete. We wanted to look for rusting or other anomalies in the steel structure. Our drones are armed with a whole bunch of really high-definition sensors and our OptoAI technology. And we essentially map out in 3D the entire structure itself such that we can have a really, really highly crisp digital model. They were able to fly really close to all aspects, all nooks and crannies, and identify really quickly in short order where the problem areas are and what we should prioritize with respect to inspection and fixing. I think the moment that sold it for the mayor is when he put the goggles on. It was remarkable. I mean, there we were sitting on the side of the Ohio River and I put on these high-tech goggles and all of a sudden I'm in the inside of a bridge. He actually saw in augmented reality the drone flying, what the drone was seeing, and then all of a sudden these things started popping up and said, oh, there's a problem over there. And he almost went to go touch it. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. These drones scan structures and assets in real time. And then our algorithms basically say, I see a problem or I don't see a problem. What used to take them three months or six months, you would now be able to do just in a couple minutes. I mean, the idea that that much technology can just be in the palm of your hand, unlocking so many opportunities and resources for you, it's just mind blowing. So now he's able to make decisions about his critical infrastructure that will save him time reduce cost, and possibly even save lives. If you look at all the great things that we're doing with drones today, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Before mayors know it, this type of technology is gonna be the nuts and bolts of what's gonna allow them to do their jobs better and provide better information, decisions, cost, efficiencies for their constituents. The biggest challenge you have when you're mayor is making imperfect decisions based on imperfect information. If I can use a tool that gets me more accurate information more quickly and more affordably, that would be a game changer for us. This is no longer your grandparents' Cincinnati. The sky's the limit for what we can accomplish. 